Kinder Crafty. Today I'm going to share with you a learning video. Now in some of my, I think maybe two or three learning videos in the past, I've mentioned something called snack math, but I don't think I've ever shown you all how to do it or what it is. <laughs> so today is the day I'm going to show you how you can take something as simple and routine as giving your kids snack and turn it into something educational as a way of teaching number sense, counting, geometry, all that good stuff. So today is the day I'm gonna show you how to teach your kids snack math. Are you ready to do snack math? Yes. Okay, let's start. What shape is this? Crescent are nuts, yeah. and a nut is made of the half piece of the moon. <laughs> what shape are the wheat thins? Square. Yes. What shape are the grapes? Oval. What shape is the cheese stick? Rectangle. And what shape is the cookie? Circle. Very good. Can you count how many nuts you have? One. Two, three, four, five. And then can you count how many wheat thins you have? One, two, three, four. Good. Put them back in. Can you count how many grapes you have? I have one. Two, three. How many cheese sticks do you have? One, two. Good. And how many cookies? One. Okay, first, mommy is going to open up your napkin so that we have two groups. So we're going to sort your snack by things that go in the refrigerator and things that go in the pantry. Okay, so we're gonna make two groups. Things that go in the refrigerator. Not th these two. Yes. And these two. Okay, but they need to be in one group. We're sorting all the things that go inside the refrigerator and all the things that go inside the pantry. Put the nuts here. Now mommy's gonna open it all the way up. All the way? So that there are four so sections of your napkin. Yep, one, two, three, four. The box. See how the napkin does a nice... The, um, back, the box <laughs> Yeah, fold there so it's four separate sections. Okay, and one more. What shape is that? Oh. oh. Now we're gonna work on patterns, okay? So I'm going to start a pattern and I want you to finish it. Are you ready? I'm going to use this line, okay, to do my pattern. I'm going to do square, oval, square. What comes next in my pattern? Oval. And then what comes next? Crackle. Mm -hmm. And then what comes next? And can you finish off that pattern? Good. Can you touch and tell me the pattern we made? I'm gonna do crescent, crescent, Grape. rectangle. Crescent, what comes next? Crescent, that. rectangle, good job. Crescent, crescent, cheese. Crescent, <laughs> crescent, cheese. Okay, now we're gonna do something called graphing because we wanna see which one has the most items. So let's start with your nuts, and we're going to make a line going up here of nuts. Three, four, five. Now, let's do the crackers. Make a line going up this way with crackers. Count them. One, two, two three, three, four. Four. Good. It's the same star. For but we're counting how many we have, not the size, okay? So now I would like you to do the grapes. Well, the grapes. One, two, three. Now I would like you to do the cheese. 
One. Oopsie. We're going to start down. One. Two. Good. And the cookie. One. Okay. Five nuts. <clears throat> four crackers. Three um, grapes. Two um, cheese. And one cookie. So which do we have the most of? Yes, we have the most nuts because five is the biggest number. And let's do some simple addition. So I would like you to do one cheese stick on this side and two grapes on this side. See the natural division? So one cheese stick and two grapes makes how many things on your snack napkin? One, two, three. Good job. Now you get to eat your snack. Mmm. Mm. Okay, so now it's your turn. Go grab some fruit snacks, grab some Chex Mix, or whatever you have around the house that you're gonna give your kiddos for snack today and try snack math. Hope this was helpful, you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.